this is yet another program which I gave my first year first term course. And, uh, and then at some point along the way, when we switched from C to Java, I, I got some student to write, write it in Java. And I don't know if it still runs, it's out there somewhere, uh, probably on my page, but it's kind of fun. All right, so you the input to this program is two images, uh, the base case image, which in this case is a, a circle, and the recursive image, which in this case is, is the square with that little funny thing down there tells you where to recurse. All right. And um, the tricky the tricky code, which I wrote for them, was if you have some image and you have two pl places that you put in your fingers is marked, then you can move these two fingers wherever you want and it will shrink and rotate your image with it, right? The image comes. So, so here, if, if n equals zero, oh, oh, I told two images and an integer, right? And if the integer is zero, then, well, if integer is zero, you get a circle. The integer is a one, you get the square, and then you recurse inside, you take the n equals zero image and you rotate it and shrink it a bit and you put it inside, right? And if you get n equals two, everybody remember, memorize what n equals one looks like, because n equals two puts that inside, rotated and shrunk, right? So n equals three puts the n equals two image inside, right? And there's n equals 30, right? Which is kind of fun, right? My feeling is that people today have seen these things, but I'm when I was doing it, teaching this 28 years ago, people, people hadn't seen this so much. Everybody good with this? Right, so if you want to know how nature works, right? I mean, doesn't that look like a tree? So the, the base case doesn't draw anything. And the recursive program call, draws the stick and then recurses in these various places, right? So n equals zero is nothing. n equals one is just a stick. n equals two is a branch with a bunch of sticks n equals three, n equals four, n equals five, right? It's pretty fun. I think it's fun, right? And this one, I think it's more famous these days, right? So the base case is just the line and the recursion is you take your image and you shrink it down by a factor of three and then put it in four times, right? So n equals one just looks like that, and then equals two and three and four and five, right? Anybody want to guess what n equals six looks like? It actually looks exactly like that. Why? Because the pixels are too small to tell see that it looks any different, right? Because it, it just changes the in there, you can see it doesn't change anything. All right, anybody know the length of this curve? How many people have seen lengths of these things? All right, well, this is fun, right? So let L of N be the length of the curve on input N. And you'll note that it's four. So if you take the image for N minus one, you shrink it down by a factor of three. So its length is a third of what it was, but then you have four of them, right? So the length is four thirds times bigger, right? And you can see that this is of length one and this is length four thirds, right? So if you do it n times, it gets longer. And if n goes to infinity, then the length goes to infinity. Right, you have an infinitely, it still fits in the space the same, but it's it's infinitely long, right? 
and and uh, now there are books out on this stuff, and and like the sea, the 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 shoreline, right? The the more you zoom in, the more it looks like a fractal, right? And so you can kind of think, how long is the shoreline? Well, if you go into enough detail, it's it can be infinitely long, right? So um, this is another one I got off the internet somewhere. This is this is a uh, it's called um, it Hilbert, of course, did this Hilbert like Hilbert proofs and uh, it it fills the space, meaning if you keep doing it, it every every spot in the space gets closer and closer to some line, right? And so. You you start off with um, you divide it into four right and you and you go like that and then each of these you divide into four right each line uh, oh I guess this point anyway you can kind of see it goes and um so I wanted my first year students to write a program which would search a maze and find the cheese. And in order to do that, we needed a maze. And of course, we didn't have line graphics, right? We only had stars. So uh, this is the program which made the maze. So you started by drawing a rectangle for your room. And you'll, you'll note that there's a missing star here because that's how you get in, right? And then you randomly choose a spot in the room and you build walls to make four rooms. And again, this spot's missing so that you can get to the four rooms. And then you get your friend to recurse and you get this, right? Um, all right, everybody good with those? 